Countries have long relied on reservists as a vital component of their armed forces. With the rise of cyber attacks, whether state-sponsored or individual groups and actors, the question has been raised, would the U.S. be served by a reserve corps of digital workers? U.S. Representatives Tony Gonzalez, a Republican from Texas, and Robin Kelly, a Democrat from Illinois, sponsored legislation to create a National Digital Reserve Corps. Civilians would enlist for a three-year period to serve across the federal government and work on a variety of, quote, digital and cybersecurity projects, digital education and training, data triage, acquisition assistance, and development of technical solutions. There would be a work requirement of 30 days per year, and employers would be required to retain the reservists' jobs while they are serving. Legislation was first introduced in July 2021. Because it wasn't enacted, it has to be reintroduced when a new Congress convenes. The 118th Congress convened this month. The legislation was included as part of the House-passed version of the 2023 National Defense Authorization Act in 2022, but was excluded from the final enacted bill. This bill is a must-pass bill each year to authorize defense programs, so it is likely the authors will try to include the Digital Reserve Corps bill again this year. Check out the resources section for links to the bill language and tracking information. This is Dan Whiting reporting from Washington, D.C. Listen to today's entire episode of It's 505 on your favorite podcast platform.